When I got the call from uh, my GI doctor, he told me that I had colon cancer, and he said it's stage four. There was a, a, an initial kick in the gut. Uh, took a few deep breaths, and, and I think I just said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What am I gonna do? Well, Julie, the first thing she did was call her best friend, and she says, well, hands down, you go to Piedmont. Like, you hear stage four colon cancer, and I just think, what is the plan? We reached out to MD Anderson for a second opinion, and their top surgical oncologist wrote me an email back three days later and said, you're in the best of care. You're doing exactly what we would recommend. You know, you're in good hands. There's a new vocabulary when you're diagnosed with cancer. I didn't know what a PET scan was. So when they did that, they found out that it had metastasized to his liver. Part of what got us through this was having a plan. It was chemo, surgery, chemo, surgery, chemo, surgery. And we thought that we were in the clear, and then it went to his lungs. And that was really scary because we thought we had gone through everything. Cancer's scary. It's a scary word, it's a, it's a scary prognosis. It doesn't fight fair. We have loved the level of support and care for us as a family. And Joel has been, it even scares me to say the words cancer free, but we've had clean scans for almost a year. I consider myself an optimist. And cancer is good in that it has taught me to cherish the moments with my children even more than I already did.